All right, it's been a while since we've started the show with an apology from Joe Budden, so it seems like the right time. It's our Thursday show. All right. Joseph, take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this was our Monday episode where Chris Brown replied to one of Academic's Instagram posts with some words that I, I found to be a little offensive. And I came in here feeling offensive and I spoke offensively to Chris Brown. I want to I want to send my most humble apology to Chris Brown. Chris Brown has put out a 275 track album that has hypnotized me. I don't care what Chris Brown does in his spare time anymore. I don't care about his cheekbones. I don't care about any of the things that some of the pundits and critics say about Chris Brown when we are discussing music. This album is Chris Brown's best album. I am liking some of the songs that I'm trying to skip. It's, it's taken a hold of me. I've been singing this fucking songs since 5 a.m. I bum rushed Pinky's office. I blasted shit. She turned it down. I turned it up. <laughs> I kicked her out. Chris Brown, Joe Budden. Well, I, I already say that Chris Brown is one of the most talented people we have here, but Anything that any disparaging words that I had toward you this this week, Chris, if you could find it in your heart, forgive me, forgive me. What a fucking album! Wait, man, wait, wait, wait. wait. Are you pulling the Tyrese of this for real? Sometimes I. This is Tyrese. <laughs> Tyrese. Hey, listen. listen. Let me give you out a real. Joe listened to this album before. He told me, and I want to see if your opinion changed. He said, man, one of ten, that shit was trash. He, he's talking about track listings. Um, so he's said, like, track one of ten, wasn't feeling. Track 20 to no, no, let me, I said, I said no. there's two. I said there's two tracks. This is when I do my quick listen. There was two tracks between one to ten that I loved. The rest of that shit was trash. From two to 20, there was two tracks that I loved. The rest of that shit was trash. From 20 to 45, I said, that's the adult part of the album, and that nigga went ham, right? So what happened was, there's so many songs on this album that, and because I, I can't remember all of these track titles, and looking for the songs that I knew I loved, I bumped into some other songs by mistake. So here is my new assessment. One through 10 is still trash for me. It's just not my. It's just not my. For type. you, but not necessarily but yeah, that's trash. Not trash. Okay. It's not trash. You got to read between the, the lines. The singles with this guy. are there. Like the features are there. The vibe is there. All of that shit is there. But the type of music I'm looking for from Chris Brown, it was about three songs in there between one and ten. But he needs that there. Clearly, he's he's trying to sell. He's doing some things differently. There's a lot of songs. He's looking at the streams. He's posting shit, telling fans where to go. <clears> so I'm not mad at that. This is where I fucked up. That album starts getting real stupid for me at probably 12. Probably track 12 to 13, one of them on. I ain't really skipping too much. I'm not even going to call this shit an album. This, this to me, I know More Life came and, and Drake tried to introduce the playlist slang. And I thought he succeeded in that. I thought that track, I thought that album played like a playlist. This album plays like a playlist. This don't really play like an album. Me and you was talking, right? And we said, uh, that was when I was in the Caribbean section of the album or whatever that, that mood is. And that's when I was saying to you, ah, it's overdone. It's I'm just tired Jamaican of it. Breezy section. Yeah, I was tired of it. And right after Jamaican Breezy, it's like magic. Baby, ain't no secrets in love. Ain't no secrets in love. We Yo, used to have it. But anyway, right after that, <laughs> right after that part, he started getting crazy. I had a lot to say about Chris Brown. I want to apologize to Chris Brown. That's my first apology. Secondly. And hold on. We're definitely extended the invitation to Chris Brown. Please come up here. Please. I don't want to probably talk to him. Why not? Fuck, I want to talk to Chris Brown about sitting here. What do you mean? That's not true. I watched. They put a documentary in a movie theater. What else is there to talk about? <laughs> The fact that you like the album, the music. Oh my God, what an album! <laughs> so that's what we talk what to niggas for. The music, we fucking... Can you take that nigga's cra what? Listen, man. One day we have to have a Chris Brown episode. Really? Like wait. we got to really get to the bottom of of 
of Chris Brown and all the damage that he has probably done to himself. If some of these things just never happen, man, we're going to talk about Chris Brown a lot different. So talk when it comes about him, but not just have him to up the here. music, so, or are you back, I only care about the music. I don't, off, I don't, 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 don't want to talk. Are you backing off your stance where you're saying that man Chris Brown wants us to believe he's not on drugs, but he dropped a 45 album, a 45 track album? Well, that was funny. That was comedic. that was yeah, real like, funny. That was a little bit, yeah. I'm, my stance now is, you know, I like to say Joe is only concerned with the music. Now, when there is no music, unfortunately, we have to talk about some other things. But when there's music out. I don't care if that, if what Chris Brown want to do in his personal time. I don't care if Chris Brown go to the club, fight a million niggas, you a blood, you do coke, you fuck bitches, okay, you get one. I don't let's care. Not, let's not Who undo cares the apology. About any of that? Yeah, yeah. This fucking album. I want to keep it solely on music. And again, I don't care how it performs. I don't care what he sells. I, I'm cool if he retires. That's how I feel about the album. If Chris Brown don't put no more music out. From the age, of, done, but from the age of 16 to however the fuck old he is right now, solely speaking music, this is the best his contributions to music, <clears throat> ridiculous. Especially coming off that royalty album, which I think is trash. Y'all killed me for saying it was trash, but that's my opinion. It wasn't for me. This album okay. is last. Come on, man. No, no, no. Thank, uh, I'm glad you apologized to him. 